Hello fellow guardians, Boltzilla Plays here, bringing you another Destiny video. It is Wednesday, February 24th, and we know what that means, it's Arms Day. So let's see what Banshee has in stock for us this week. First up, we have the Suros ARI-41 Auto Rifle. Tier 1 has the SLO-19, SPO-26, or the SPO-57. Perfect Balance, or a pen and mag, single point sling, or hand laid stock, in private eye. Tier 2 has the SLO-19, SPO-28, and the SPO-57. Perfect Balance, or feather mag, snapshot, or hand laid stock, and hip fire. In tier 3, has the SLO-19, SPO-26, SPO-57, fitted stock, or a pendant mag, snapshot, rifle barrel, and private eye. Um, nothing really spectacular on this one. I'd say it's a pass or a legendary marks. If you gotta get something, I would say go with rank 3. I mean, it's got snapshot, it's got rifle barrel. Uh, it's a third perk is garbage. I mean, we got fit stock to up the stability. But yeah, private eye isn't anything spectacular. Unless you're going with the longer range. But yeah, three if you gotta get something. Otherwise, pass. Next up is the Suros DIS-43 Scout Rifle. Tier 1 has the SLO-12, SPO-26, or the SPO-57, Perfect Balance, or Pen and Mag, Full Auto, Speed Reload, or Hand Laid Stock. Tier 2 has the SLO-12, SPO-28, or the SRO-37, Fitted stock or oiled frame, hip fire, snapshot, or rifle barrel. Tier 3, we have the SLO 12, SPO 26, or the SRO 37, hammer forged, or casket mag, rodeo, snapshot, or injection mold. Tier 1 all the way. This is a god roll. Um, yeah. It's got max stability. You can max out stability. It's got full auto. This is probably the best you're going to get. So you got hand laid stock, which jumps the stability. You got the full auto. Everything. I mean, the you lose a little bit of range, but then you got perfect balance on top of it, and boom. It's a laser gun. Next up is the Kakaiatus SR4 Scout Rifle. Tier 1 is the Spark IS-6, the Torch HS-2, or the Signal MS-5, Icarus, Single Point Sling, or Casket Mag, Firefly, or Exhumed. Tier 2 is the Candle IS-2, Flash HS-4, or the Signal MS-5, Icarus, Extended mag or feather mag, third eye, and surrounded. In tier three, you have the Spark IS 6, Flash HS 4, Signal MS 5, Life Support, Lightweight or Small Bore, Firefly or Surrounded. Um, this is one, if you got the room, hang on to it. It's got really good base stats. But if you have to get something this week, it's a toss-up between 2 and 3. So like I said, you might want to just hang on to it and wait for a god roll. If you have the room for it, and you don't need to be ordering new packages and everything. Otherwise, I'd say go with 2 for PvP. It's got, I mean, Icarus is an amazing, if you know how to use it, it's really good. But yeah, it's, a lot of people don't really know how to use it. 
Then you have extended mag, so you can go with a larger magazine. So it'll help since it's only a 12. You got third eye, so the radar stays on all the time. Or you can go surrounded. Well, that's three enemies or more. And if you don't want to go with extended, you can go with feather mag to up the reload. But you lose even more, so it's a... I'd say go with the extended. That's the PvP roll. The PvE roll I would go with is rank 3. So you got life support. So kills will help you heal up. You go with small bore to get some more range and stability. Or you can go lightweight if you don't want to hit the reload and mag size. And then you got firefly. Always a good perk in PvE. So toss up between 2 and 3. Depending on if you want PvE or PvP. And then, like I said, if you've got the room, hang on to it. Wait for that god roll. Next up, we have the Tamir D Sniper Rifle. Tier 1 has the ATB Long Range, or the ATD Raptor. Surplus. Partial Refund. Explosive Rounds. Quick Draw. Or Pendant Mag. Tier 2 has the ATA Scout, ATD Raptor, Counterbalance, Zen Moment, Explosive Rounds, Snapshot, or Braced Frame. Well, tier 3 has the ATA Scout, the ATD Raptor, Surplus, Partial Refund, High Caliber Rounds, Quick Draw, or a Pendant Mag. Um, not anything really great. I'd say if you're going to go with anything, go with number three. This one. Surplus, partial refund, appendix mags. You're always going to have plenty of bullets. That would be my best bet. They're, you're never going to get like a god roll on this. just the way the perks are laid out on it. So usually this one is just uh, buy and dismantle for legendary marks. So. Last up, we have the Uzume RR4 sniper rifle. So we have the Condor SS2, or the Falcon SS1, Performance Bonus, Single Point Sling, Injection Mold, Life Support, or Eye of the Storm. Tier 2, we have the Apeki SS2, or the Falcon SS1, Performance Bonus, Single Point Sling, or Rifled Barrel, Clown Cartridge, or Mulligan. In tier 3, we have the Condor SS2, or the Falcon SS1, Outlaw, Lightweight, or Casket Mag, Life Support, or Eye of the Storm. Kind of a toss up between 1 and 2. So 1, you'll have the Performance Bonus. You got Injection Mold for Stability, or you can use Single Point Sling for Switch Weapons Faster. Life supports could be really helpful. Eye of the Storm both are for low health. Otherwise, you can go with two, which has performance bonus again, single point sling, or rifle barrel, so you can get some more range. And then clown cartridge or mulligan. So this would be, you can do clown cartridge and performance bonus to keep ammo going nuts. Or even mulligan, so hits have a chance to reserve, and once you miss, go back into your magazine. Possible, go back to magazine. So it's a toss up between one and two. Field test weapons for this week we have the Amalan Test FR1 Fusion Rifle, which is used against Vex Minotaurs. Another Amalan Test FR1 Fusion Rifle, which is using Crucible. Suros TSP 10 Pulse Rifle, which you use against Hive. Suros TSR-10 Rocket Launcher to use in Crucible. And the Hawke Test-A Shotgun, which you use in Crucible. Three Crucible guns. Ugh. Well, the Hive one, easiest way to do that is probably just to spawn into the, uh... I forgot what it's called now. It's the one where you open the door and all the Hive come out. The Dark... Is it called the Dark Below? Dark Beyond? Or there's the Siege of the Warmind. Where they come out when you go to face uh, Omnigal for the first time in the Dark Below story missions. You can go down by the Warmind bunker and everything. There's waves of Hive. Kill those and you can jump off the ledge and rinse and repeat. And 
the hive door one, you just kill everything. Except for like the, the knight, and then you kill yourself, and it'll respawn there. Uh, Vex Minotaurs, I just usually go spawn into Mars, and then just go on patrol straight down into that little cave there, the Vex spawn, there's always a Minotaur there. And it only takes like, I think you get 20% for each kill with the Vex Minotaur, so you only gotta kill five of them, so it's five waves. And then Crucible, yeah, I'm getting to the point where Crucible, I'm just not even going to be doing them. <laughs> it's no fun using these guns in the Crucible. Uh, foundry orders for next week. We have the Hake Armenius D auto rifle, the Amon Tuanella SR4 scout rifle, the Hake Gaharis D hand cannon, the Hake Strongbow D shotgun, and the Amalan Azume RR4 Scout Sniper Rifle. Any the last four are pick up if you care for them. They're not a big loss if you don't grab them. But the Armin SD you will want to grab. It has the base stats of a Doctrine of Passing. Which is amazing in PvP right now. So I'd say grab this and then just hang on to it until he comes with a roll with counterbalance. You need counterbalance on this gun, on these types of guns. So that was Banshee's Arms Day stock for February 24th. Make sure to like, comment, share. Let me know your thoughts on this week, what you're looking forward to for next week. Um... Any other general comments on what he had, like any perks you were interested in on the guns that may lean you towards what I didn't say to pick up? And make sure you check out my other videos at youtube.com slash C slash Bolts of the Plays. And you can check me out streaming from time to time over at twitch.tv slash Bolts of the Plays. Until next time, Guardians, take it easy.